Winning an Oscar is tough. I mean, what's your next move? Do you make another small movie out of respect to the little gold guy? Or a big mainstream project to prove you're now a box office draw thanks to all that red carpet exposure? It's a tough decision where almost no answer seems right. Countless actors have either been laughed off the big screen or slipped into highbrow obscurity. One actress who suffered the latter is Charlize Theron, who won the Best Actress Oscar back in 2004 for Monster. Theron, like Halle Berry and Nicole Kidman, was one of those wins where vicious industry gossip floated the theory they'd won for simply being willing to look ugly on screen. And interestingly, all three women seem to have the same post-Oscar strategy. Instead of making more art house picks, they all flung themselves into flashy mainstream roles. Gothica for Berry, The Stepford Wives for Kidman, and Aeon Flux for Theron. All three movies belly flopped at the box office and their leading ladies didn't fare much better. This, though, is where the actresses diverged. Barry and Kidman both continued to look for the big paychecks and dug themselves into deeper and deeper holes. By the time they tried to go back to the indie route, they'd already spent all their Oscar credibility. But Theron course corrected earlier, learning her lesson from Aeon Flux. She took a stint on the hip yet short-lived series Arrested Development before appearing in several films that seemed smart and, because nobody saw them, couldn't be proved otherwise. Now, with plenty of Oscar cred left in the bank, Theron is set for a comeback year in 2012. She'll start it off with plenty of buzz for starring in Jason Reitman and Diablo Cody's latest offbeat character study, Young Adult. Regardless of its quality, the pedigree of the film alone will warrant at least a nomination or two, either the Golden Globes or the Oscars, which means plenty of publicity for Theron. Then this summer, Theron will star in not one, but two majorly anticipated blockbusters. First, she'll fill Ripley's shoes as one of the leads in Ridley Scott's alien prequel Prometheus, and then she'll torment Kristen Stewart as the evil queen in Snow White and the Huntsman. In fact, the trailer for Snow White and the Huntsman just recently lit up the internet, and the early buzz is saying that Theron's evil queen is the one to root for over Snow White. So do you think Theron's post-Oscar strategy will pay off? And is there any hope for Halle Berry and Nicole Kidman to likewise recover? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now. Thank you